days old. We always do that. Where is fact checker Mel Dan? Roll call. Jen. Frank. And where do those kids? On December 16th, uh, Jen traveled in from Long Island. I, uh, well, Jen came to Queens, and then we traveled <laughs> together into Manhattan on the subway. Wow. We went yeah. to the Green Room 42 up on 10th Avenue between 41st and 42nd Street to see Lindsay Alley's Christmas in New York. Yes. And just right out of the gate, I want to say that uh, when we started this podcast almost five years ago, uh, it did not cross my mind mm -hmm. that uh, one of the one of the uh, benefits of doing this podcast, one of one of the things the that perks. the perks, <laughs> one of the, one of the things that would be happening on a almost consistent basis is mm -hmm. uh, us being able to support of the the former members of the all new Mickey Mouse Club in in the many ways that we have here over the the five years and more so the last three yeah. I would say and uh, Lindsay's show was n no different it was uh, a, an amazing night of a packed room so uh, mm -hmm. it was uh, holiday spirit and good cheer and all the things yeah oh for sure um yeah i i don't think i i think the constant thing in my brain mm -hmm. uh especially in the last few years you know chase has been on the podcast and jennifer's been on the podcast and and we have now gone to a party concert which was 30 years in the making for us mm -hmm. and 90s con and now Lindsay's show and the constant in my brain is like Go back in time and tell little Frank and Jen this. And no, we don't believe you. Like, this is insane that these things are happening and that they're becoming, like, more of a normal thing we're doing. And, like, if you if you would have told me that not only would I, like, speak to them via a screen, but then meet them in person. And then now, Lindsay, we have now met twice in person. Like, what is happening, you know, to – to at the, I mean, we'll get to her show, of course, but to like, you know, know at the end of her show, we're leaving and, and we're hugging and she's thanking us. And it's like, what is this world I'm living in? This is crazy. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's, you know, we, we have discussed this over the last couple of years of uh, just uh, the, kindness of spirit that uh -huh. exudes from all of them everyone yes. that we have met so far and and just uh you know it it, it feels like you know we talk about the shared experience a lot mm -hmm. here on the podcast but i feel like interacting with them like we're always sharing these experiences and yes. uh, so obviously that that you know checks something very large for me it's very important to me and, and that's the thing like Lindsay says these things she's like I love you guys and I'm like uh -huh. I believe you I, uh, I do yeah. I, uh, I, we love you yeah. <laughs> and, and and the fact that we're able to support uh, projects in this way for whenever we can is yeah. is you know it, it's it's amazing uh, you know for me I'll just say that uh, since I'm going to see Merrily We Roll Along uh, on the 29th mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Jonathan Groff and Daniel Radcliffe, and so uh, Lindsay singing Good Thing Going, mm -hmm. albeit she was singing it to uh, uh, a, a glass, of, a beverage of spirits, <laughs> as it were, uh, that was a symbolic of the pandemic, mm -hmm. which I got a kick out of, because uh, yeah. I, I also increase my drinking during the time <laughs> uh, that uh, but to hear her saying something from my favorite musical all time period yeah. uh, you know like no question no but no contesting that merrily we're along is my favorite musical yes. again worlds collide is yes. like here's somebody from a show that pretty much defined my childhood, mm -hmm. well, I, even my teenage years, where I could have veered off somewhere else, it kept me in the Disney mix. Yeah, and and then combined with this musical that I stage managed when I was twenty, and like became mm -hmm. my world and how I define like all the things in my theatrical life. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 making it very large, and it is. <laughs> um, you know, it was just again like. Wow, I, I can't believe these thoughts are connecting for me in this moment right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and and to piggyback on your point, um, 
those that we have met and talked to and some we've had more of, com- of a conversation with than others, but regardless, they all have this genuineness to them and an authenticity. They, yes. A thousand mm-hmm. percent. And they are humble and kind and soft, you know, and they f- make you feel welcome. You know, I, I, I know it's a, it's a thing in the in the world where people are like, oh, we're friends in my head. And yeah, we probably feel that way about the entire cast because we grew up with them. But like then when you meet them, it's like, but aren't we? Like, I'm so comfortable around you. Why am I so comfortable? And that's hard for us um, because we are a bunch of introverts uh, who, you know, don't <laughs> as, love to- As many people at this performance that we've met uh, learned quickly, we're like, no. We're, intro- oh, shy. <laughs> we're shy. We want to say hi to people, but we don't know how to go up to people and say hello. We are so used to now doing this podcast behind a microphone and a screen, <laughs> and now we're in front of people. Um, but, you know, when Lindsay came in initially to the show and everyone's applauding, and, you know, you can immediately see her get choked up. I'm like, well, now I'm done. You're going to get choked mm-hmm. up. I'm going to get choked up. But um, just to have that room full of people that she has worked with and people that have um, been watching her like us since, you know, the beginning and family and friends of her and everything in between. It was like such a cool um, combination of people I would think for an audience. Um, And, you know, and, and the entire show, she, she had you laughing hysterically. She had you emotional. She was telling personal stories. She was adding humor to them. She would, she, but she's just her and a hundred percent real the whole time. You know, it it feels like she's just talking to the audience. It doesn't right. feel like she's putting on this show or you know. And right. then everything is just, then she starts singing as if it's another conversation because it's so easy. It's it's crazy. Yeah, the way she uh, and and you know credit to her whole creative team mm-hmm. and her, like the creative team knows her so well and and it and it becomes so natural for her to to weave in the storytelling yes. almost like a, a a history timeline of mm-hmm. her life with and then the the Christmas music mix yes. you know just really threaded a, a really lovely needle um, throughout the the. 90 minutes or so Mm -hmm. and you know and and again at the end it's just a supportive room and everyone wants to continue to be you know like everyone like like, we just we also want to be here for each other and (laughs) and just so it makes you think like okay what's next what's gonna be the next thing i I can't wait for the next thing who's who's it gonna be where who's gonna support like that that I never would have guessed that in the five years uh, that we that, that that would be a thing I would be thinking of like, oh, I can't wait to see if Lindsay, what Lindsay does next or what the next Masketeer will do and who will support mm-hmm. that. Like that's, I, you know, that's uh, mind blowing to me yes. considering how much, you know, because, again, we're seven and a half years apart in age. Uh-huh. If you're listening for the first time <laughs> and, you know, I think for Jen you know, there's a whole different thing that she was watching the show for. And mm-hmm. for me, initially, it was like, well, uh, Disney MGM Studios is opening. This is cool that they're recording this at the Disney MGM studio. So is that that Walt Disney World element that I f- first drawn to. Yeah. And then, oh, oh, by the way, within two years, you're going to be wanting, you know, wanting to be acting on the stage all the time yeah. you know, because of that show. Yeah. Oh, a, a thousand percent. It's, it's, you know, and we have talked about it before that the, the impact the show had on our lives, on our relationship as siblings. And it was something that connected us with an age gap. Um, it was something that we both liked to watch and we both enjoyed and, you know, and continuing with the party and the music coming out. And it was always something that stuck with us. Plus we were a family that went to Walt Disney world every single year and we're in MGM and found it so cool. So there were all these connections for us as a family, but also, you know, connections through the show and through the cast and the fact that all these years later, (laughs) it's continuing and it is, and it is a part of our lives. And now we've gone next level with it where we're, we're in person. And this is like, this is real life that we were just, we just saw Lindsay on Friday. Like it's, I I couldn't have predicted any of it. And they, you know, the entire cast, whether they uh, were in boy bands um, on TRL at some point (laughs) or, or not, 
they are all just so incredibly talented and amazing. You know, we've been watching Nikki on Hallmark movies for years. Yes. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's just we have found them everywhere <laughs> and and they continue to bring it and they continue to give the audience the best performance they can and they continue to be genuine and real. And the fact that then they are doing shows like this or something like 90s con where then they're reaching out to the fans which i was always big for them right. it's it's so cool to see and now kind of like be able to be a part of a little bit yeah it's uh it's it's i, I wouldn't call it like because we you know we did like i said we didn't it didn't cross our minds but we didn't it's not like we manifested either but it's just this uh, weird uh, paradox. So, like it's a it's a the destiny fate thing that like <laughs> all of a sudden because like we we doing this podcast that we can now talk about these things that were so important to us thirty yeah. years ago. And I mean, and part of that started with MMC thirty, you mm -hmm. know, which we did not go to and we kicked ourselves for yeah. endlessly yeah. and we lived mm -hmm. vicariously through everybody. <laughs> and, uh, and but then after that, we were like, well, we're never doing that again. We're never going to miss out. Yeah. And so with Lindsay's show, just like an incredible hour and a half. Yes. Uh, and we're, we're sharing the clips. Make yeah. sure to check out our very merry Vlogmas mm -hmm. uh, and all the things that, uh, you know, we'll be able to share some video, the TikToks, because yeah. one of us might have been shooting video vertical and the other <laughs> one was shooting horizontal. We tried to be aware of who was doing what. But yeah, I think um, at the tail end of this, if you're watching this on video, because we're going to share a part of this on our YouTube channel. So if you're watching it there, we'll probably share some clips from the night at the end of this video. If you're listening. It gave me time to answer some of life's big questions, like, what is my purpose? And what is Bitcoin? <laughs> and is Humera right for me? <laughs> You're gonna see my Spanx and I don't care. <laughs> Oh, then. 
Many times, many ways 